Hey guys, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Welcome back to EU4. This is the Hussite, Holy Hussite Roman Empire. Uh, before we get into it, I do want to remind you guys, we have a VODs channel that a lot of people may not know about. It's linked in the description below the video. It's called Chewy VODs. It is where all of my streams from twitch.tv slash Chewy Shoot go up after the fact. And uh, it is managed by my good friend Quagersol, who many of you guys may know. So good quality content over there. I recommend you checking it out. Uh, drop a follow over there. But uh, anyways, let's get into this here. So I'm just scrolling through, making sure everything is according to plan here. Um, everything looks good. Everything is the appropriate religion. And so now what I'm doing is I am letting a 3 2 four. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not ideal, but it, I'll take it. Who is disloyal? Is this Provence, huh? You crybaby. Let me just pay off your debt. So it looks like I have a... 10 stack down here, which is good. All these... All these smaller... Um, all these vassals are asking for royal marriages, which is always kind of annoying. Continue to build up. We want to build as many heavies as we can. Because we want to cross the river... Or cross the river. The uh, channel today. England has... Ah! Man, Britain has 71 heavies. I have 36. And how many on the way? Two. Damn. Alright. Can I do more of this? I cannot. I cannot. Well, that is really unfortunate. Um, I suppose I can state up some more of these guys over here. That will give me a few more uh, provinces. And then I had said that I intended on lowering my autonomy in a lot of these places, uh, specifically ones that I know I will get a lot more um, sailors from. These guys are already pretty low on the autonomy. I'll, uh, I'll lower them over here as well, it's fine. These guys are fine. Um, the stuff over here is getting converted, I believe, so it's fine. Particularists and a bunch of my vassals for no reason. It's fine. Empire of China still going strong. Ming feeling pretty good. Russia looking good. Kilwa looking real good. England still controls most of it. Looks like we have an independent United States, which is essentially New England, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Ohio, part of Ohio at least. That's hilarious. De la Cerda, Mexican. The United States of Mexico. Cool. Very, very cool. Uh, let's continue to uh, build these guys here as well. Especially in the trade companies. Give us more money. And then let's also build shipyards because why not? Especially for my vassals so they'll build more ships. And then I also need to build... Actually, rather than those guys, I should be building um, the docks which give me more sailors. So in my own land, I'm going to be building those. So let's go with dry dock. There we go. Give me more sailors, please. Oh, I'll build it in my vassal's lands too. It's fine with me. Right, this stuff is not even stated up over here. So let's state you as well. And then lower the autonomy over here if I need to. I've had it long enough that I imagine it's probably zero. Yep, there we go can also add all of it to the empire so I should probably click that just to make sure that I can do it anyway so lots of clay in the empire it's always weird that sometimes your vassals won't add random provinces to the HRE like Provence has no reason not to he loves me but for some reason he just won't I don't know right we're gonna finish this one up first global engagement with as well is really good for us um, Build up a few more, preferably on like the shortest time frame possible. Today we're gonna do it. And uh, let's make sure I'm still converting my vassals lands as well. It's weird that the flag doesn't show up for your vassals, but only does it for your own. Here we go. Policy, sure. Um, and then 
ship their ability and recover morale is fine. So that is a light ship fleet. So I'm going to let this next round of ships head over here. I um, think we're safe to send these guys up here. Let's get rid of our cav because I don't care about them. Let's have these guys head up here and then let's get a couple more cannons. Do something like this. How many men you got? 25. So let's get a couple more infantry as well. All right. When you do it in your vassal's land, it like does it like that anyways. Kind of dumb. All right. So let's do down here. And then let's do a couple more cannons. Let's do them over here. And we'll just get all of our boys over there. Let's actually pull you guys over here as well. Lots of men coming in. So there is a 34. So these guys are also over here. I don't know what you're doing over there. There we go. Let's have these guys group up as one. We have some more heavies or cannons over here that'll be joining up. This is a big old doom stack. Curious what our combat width actually is here. Let's take a look. 36. So, yeah, obviously we need a few more of whatever we're working with. I don't care about the clergy. They can be as loyal or disloyal as they want. Doesn't affect me. Let's do a shuffle split. Shuffle split, for those of you who don't know, you split them in half and send half of each stack to the other stack. Basically evens them out. See, now we got two co full combat with stacks right there. Well, not full, but mostly full. Uh, let's also get some transports built up. We're definitely going to need them. All right. I think uh, 30 total is going to be good. That way we can send over half the army. All we need to do is get one big naval landing and we win and then we never have to really worry about it again so that was kind of the plan i reckon we're going to be able to get it done before um we're, we're going to be able to get it done before um what's the word i'm looking for the end of the century as well which would be pretty great let's see here instead of harsh treatment costs can we get something more useful Goods produce is nice. National manpower is nice. Eh. See, this isn't super useful because I don't actually own that much clay, but I'll, I'll take it anyways. It's fine. I'm not the one with all the clay. It's my vassals that has all the clay. And uh, they also have a lot of rebels, but it's mostly peasants and particularists and all these just annoying little naggy, naggy ones. So, preemptively, I'm going to also queue up a few more heavies just to make sure that, um... Just to make sure that they're going to get done. Uh, and if we, like, lose a naval battle, we won't have to just sit there and wait, you know, years and years. I think that's the appropriate move right there. All right. Have our transports. Let's get everybody over here to Armor. Armor? I don't know how you pronounce that. You crazy Bretons in your crazy language. All right. So, let's get a better general. Better general. You guys are literally terrible. Anyways, let's give them one repair tick here. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're attacking them. They're at war with Brazil over here for something. That's actually a good thing for us because it means he probably doesn't have his army over here. Imperialism. Loot, have a couple of naval battles pop off here immediately. Get these guys over here. That is a zero or two cannon stack here. Yeah, this is not what I want. This is not what I want at all. Looks like he's actually losing some ships here. I have a couple of ships damaged, but uh, okay. 
This, the reason why I don't want to fight him there, I'll fight him out in the open seas, but I do not want to fight him off his own coasts because the wooden wall is very, very strong. So like the coast of Holland here, this is really good. We want to fight him here if we can. Or if we can catch out these small little, little navies, you want to catch them out as well. Remember, we have our flagship, which gives us extra movement speed, which is really good as well. See, I want them to attack me here. Yes, this is good. Oh, actually, I have a few damaged ships in there, but... Uh, so we lost two, he lost one. All right, and as our, as our other flagships or heavy ships start pumping out, we'll be good. So Britain has 65 heavies. Man. But that's a good thing. That means he's lost like five, right? Because he, ha he had quite a few before. So let's come out here, stack wipe this little fleet here because, you know, screw you guys. That's what you get. Oh, no. The heavy ship combat ability is definitely playing to our advantage here. So I just need to make sure that my fleet is not just getting, like, demolished. Doesn't look like it. He lost one ship and I lost none. Not too bad, right? It's kind of micro-intensive, but, uh... You know, gotta take what we can from it. Bay of Biscay, come on, fight me, baby. No Admiral, either. This is a really good battle for us. He's losing a lot of ships. A lot of ships. This is a big deal. On the monthly tick. Head in some more ships. Oh, baby. Yes! We stole... What? What? <laughs> The Battle of the Bay of Biscay, my friends, is the day that the British Navy was dishonorably sank. Holy smokes. All right. Well, now I think it's time that we head on over. That was nuts. That was actually nuts. So now ideally we land here and he doesn't, you know, stack wipe. Like, Doomstack is 90k over here, because he definitely could. Get these ships over here. Now, I don't want to fight them for the wooden wall, if I can avoid them. Avoid it, rather. Okay, so I'm hoping that these ships get out of there. They'll be out on the 10th. Okay, so we want to do this. That way I can bring these guys over there and... There we go. Nice. We have a beachhead. All right, let's get our ships grouped up. All right, so I don't think the wooden wall matters as much anymore because none of these ships are heavy, so it doesn't matter. Actually stole a bunch of his light ships, which is good for us. So in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to privateer the English Channel because what that's gonna do is it's going to come... Okay, so he's making 283. Wait for it. So these guys are not going out, but they should pretty soon here. Oh, uh, maybe he was making less than that before? Or more than that before? I don't know, actually. So like the coast of Holland, we wanna fight him here because He's not getting the wooden wall here, so this is really good for us. Sunk two of his heavies. Actually, captured two of his heavies. Really good stuff. These guys are taking attrition over here as well. Let's get a discipline guy. I guess he's only a level three. It's not a big deal. Come on over here. See if we can bait them into trying to come out here. Meanwhile... Yep, this is fine. He'll be there on the 19th, and as long as I could get back there before that. 
Very good. So then he'll single file in. Ooh, he might actually be able to get there. Unfortunate, man. This army might get wiped. Yeah, they are. They're totally going to get wiped. That is so unfortunate, man. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. He's taking he's taking extremely heavy losses already. 72,000 men. Yeah, he's already lost 50,000 men. So what we need to do here is, um, you know, build up a big old navy, a big old army. There's 30,000. Let's go with 30,000. And uh, we'll we'll bring him bring him back over eventually. Now we have naval dominance though. Look at this. He's only got 14 heavies anymore. I got 84. Boy. The British Navy has nothing on me. Bohemia rules the waves. <laughs> oh, right. He probably had Miltech on me as well, didn't he? 23 to 22. Yes. Mm. Unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I did not realize that that was um, something that I had missed out on. Makes sense, though. Let's upgrade our cav. So I don't have enough sailors to, to repair these guys. <laughs> I think that's the main issue here. They're just not repairing because I don't have enough sailors coming in. Yeah, I need 6,000 sailors to repair my navy. Sounds about right. So let's get this guy over here. Bring him over. Have him land over here in Dorset. Now, what I should do is not even really worry about the cab, but have all my infantry come up here. Let's have all, all of our heavies group up here as well. Now, ideally, he, like I said, he doesn't doomstack and bring over his 100k. If he does, it's not a huge deal. Ooh, Hungary just added a bunch of clay to the HRE. Very cool. Thank you. We'll see. Put those guys over there. Let's scorch that. They have like no cannons in this army, so they won't be able to reinforce. Very good. This is a good battle for me. Yep. There you go. And just like that, Britain has lost 90... 4,000 men. So I'm going to bring over this 30 stack as well. Oh, hello. Where are you guys going? I don't know if I want to fight him in the woods, but I also I also think I do want to fight him in the woods. Is that a wipe? Oh, it's a wipe. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's bring these guys over here. That's my carpet sieging set. Fulo wants out. Yes, please. You may go. Yeah, we're at war with like half the world, by the way. The New World, Kilwa, over here, all fine and dandy. But uh, this is going to be a really, really important war for us. Free stab or free prestige? I'll take the stab, please. Thank you. Let's uh, scorch that province here. So they want to head over here. They'll be there on the 6th of July by the looks of it. Oh, I can definitely be there before that. So let's get these guys over here. They're locked in. Right. I don't have a full combat width, so let's send in at least half of them so we have a full combat width. And then I'll trickle in a couple of my men to keep their morale nice and high. There you go. How about it? How about it? Britain has lost 200,000 men, lads. Let's start the process of sieging them down now. Now, where are all these rebels popping, by the way? Because I'm hearing a lot of them. Independence. Yeah, we can't do that. We cannot be allowing that. So let's have you guys suppress and let's have them loop all the way around over here. Yep, that's not what I did. I did not click that. I want you there, here, 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 here. They should handle that. Let's get our cannons over here. That is a very large Kilwa Navy. Do some dev here. Even in my subjects is fine. Very cheap. Nice. Uh, let's also make sure we are keeping uh, these guys built up. Preferably in my own land first. I need more sailors. 
And then these guys will go everywhere. Now, this is all considered Western Europe. Am I part of Western Europe? I am, so I can't trade company that, sadly. I'm gonna say trade company Iberia might be a good idea, but uh, doesn't look like we can. These guys are down to 100. Looks like they're selling off their armies too. Ooh. That is sad indeed. Right, so one thing I need to do here is get all of these ships together. I'm gonna have you guys privateering the channel because that is going to hurt their income. 278, now watch this. 30 ducats a month he's losing, just instantly, instantly losing it. Let's come on up here, make sure we wipe out as many of his navies as possible. No uh, monthly tick, please. Let's, de Let's just detach a blockade here for London. Siege him down. No big deal. Once we get his capital, it's going to give us like, you know, 30 war score, give or take. Once we take it, if we can take it, we'll see. Seems like we like we want to go over that 50, that 50 mark there. Speaking of, I should probably build spy network on him as well. Get you guys out of there. Boom, boom. Oh, they're attacking me here. Very good. That's what I thought. You dum dums. Let's siege down all this stuff over here. Let the carpet sieging begin. Oh yikes! Um, this is wooden wall as well, so I gotta be. Just kidding. It's fine. Even if I lose a couple of ships, they're doing me a favor. Wonderful. All right. Let's get these guys all grouped up together. Let's have these guys send over like a. You know, small stack here. Get them up over here. Let's, uh... Let's scorch some provinces, see if I can bait them into a bad fight. Alright. So they'll be there on the 6th, then I can't be... Th I can be there on the 3rd. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna make them attack me in the hills. Scorched Earth is so overpowered. Change my mind. Change my mind. Scorched Earth is overpowered. Let's go siege down dumb fries. I know it's pronounced probably like Dumfries, Dumfries, something like that. But Dumfries is way funnier. That's an accidental snack wipe right there. Something like this is good. Now, I don't want to attack them here because that's hills. But it looks like I'm doing it anyways. Oh, it's only a partial stack anyways. That is a 54 stack here in York. So I don't like that. Yeah, they're going to be annoying, aren't they? Let's take the ones that aren't damaged here. Oh my gosh. We have quite a few heavies here. So let's take the ones that are not really damaged. Oh, it looks like they pretty much all are. So this is fine. How many heavies is this? So we're definitely, we have the edge on heavies here. I am losing because Wooden Wall is overpowered. Northumberland is mine now. I will scorch this province here. They have no general up there. Really good for us. Get these guys over here. My morale is not 100%, which is annoying. All right, let's get our guys grouped up. Let him recoup a bit. Let's get a maneuver guy in here. Not bad. The reason why you want a maneuver guy is because it helps with reinforcements. They get more man more uh, reinforcements based on how many uh, maneuver pips they have. These guys up here. Wipe these guys out here. No reinforcement ticks, sadly, but that's okay. I'll take the Diplo mana. Looks like I'm a head-on admin. I'll just take it. It's fine. No real upside to taking it or to waiting other than having a little bit extra mana on hand, but it's not a big deal. There we 
Here we go. Now we just kind of sit it out and raid. Nice. We're, uh, our privateers are eluding him, apparently, which is hilarious. Constantinople is going to take a long time to convert. All right. How about it, lads? Well, we are across the, uh, we have crossed the English Channel. We are certainly laying the slap down on these guys. I have lost 140. Britain has lost almost 300. Uh, it looks like his friends are going to want out very soon. We're going to be able to make a massive peace deal in here. I will probably take the entirety of Ireland. And then we want like a beachhead down here. Something along these lines. Maybe like whales and something like this. I think this is probably in line with what I kind of want to do. But we'll see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to show your support. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe, ding the bell, all that fun stuff. Like I said before, check out our VOD channel if you have not already. And uh, subscribe to it over there. Check us out over at twitch.tv slash chewy shoot if you want to see some EU4 content on uh, live stream. And if you have it within your means and you want to support us on Patreon, it's also linked in the description below the video. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. I would like to give a big special thanks to my top supporters for the month of April. Drunk Binary, Spartan Omega, Bloodbound, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Sprocket, Ian, M. Dressel, Thar, Blonde Damon, Gabriel Court, Corbett, Chankopotamus, T. Jarden, Barking Glad, Natsuki, Disdain, Harry, Amorado, Jay Cutchell, and Winkler, RJ Pilot, and Stolier. I appreciate you guys very much.